Hello, my name is Scott Davis with Hawkridge Systems, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you the SolidWorks PCB connector and the connector for Altium Designer. We will utilize a few iterations of board outline adjustments, part adjustments, and the conversion between SolidWorks and Altium Designer and SolidWorks PCB. So in the beginning, we use our blank board, uh, nothing defined on the outline. And we'll use the PCB Services Vault for the method of file transfer between SolidWorks and Altium Designer and SolidWorks PCB. So we'll push the blank board to the PCB Services Vault. Once in the vault, We'll just open up SOLIDWORKS, go to our vault. The connector add-in is turned on, giving us the icon. We'll go to the connector vault and pull the board. And the first thing SOLIDWORKS is going to want to create is a board assembly. So we'll go ahead and set that, save our SOLIDWORKS assembly. Now we've loaded in a blank PCB into SOLIDWORKS. From this point in my demonstration, I'm going to bring in another housing and I'm going to match the board to the features of the housing. Once the housing is in SOLIDWORKS, I want to set up a relationship between the surfaces of the board and the surfaces of our housing. I'm going to open up our housing so we can see the inner workings and the pedestal for which I'd like to mate the, the surface. Let's select the back of the PCB. Then I'm going to zoom in on my pedestal and place the back surface of the PCB onto this pedestal surface. Once the two components are mated, we can now adjust the housing onto the PCB for further outline adjustment. I'm going to delete the existing outline sketch and select the one from the housing itself. Quickly making the board outline adjustment to the PCB. Once saved, I'm now ready to place that adjusted PCB outline back into the vault so that Altium Designer and SolidWorks PCB can now begin the remaining of the circuit board design. Returning to the layout tool, I will then open the vault to view the automatic notification that is provided from SOLIDWORKS that we have now a new board outline adjustment. We have the ability to view that in an animated fashion before we actually accept the changes. I'm going to go ahead and accept those changes as I prefer to have the outline adjusted. With a new outline adjustment, we can now begin to place the remainder of the components and then allow that to be viewed and imported back into SOLIDWORKS. This is the addition of our components that we're now going to place on our PCB surface and allow those models that are associated with these footprints viewable within SOLIDWORKS.
all parts now adjusted onto the PCB. We'll go back to the vault services and we can now push the board and the models back to SOLIDWORKS. Returning to SOLIDWORKS, the vault is still open and now we can see that we also have a new notification that those parts and models have been added to our design. Let me go ahead and accept all of these new components. The models are defined against the footprints and those models are then created within SOLIDWORKS under the board assembly. going to allow the movement of two components for just a better representation and adjustment to the ch chassis outline. And now have full movement capability of these components in SOLIDWORKS and you will see that those associated footprints will be adjusted when we return to the layout tool. So after moving those components into their proper location, we'll go ahead and have SOLIDWORKS PCB and or Altium Designer review those component changes. Back to our PCB with the components originally placed. When we open up the vault, we have the notification that we have some part movement. I'd like to view those parts before they're moved. Again, the pink animation provides the exact operation that will be performed once the acceptance button are triggered. Components are now moved into place and everything is saved within the two projects. And that concludes the connector demonstration for SOLIDWORKS PCB and Altium Designer.